Greetings! In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of input, process, and output. In the previous video, we focused on getting values from the users, casting them as needed to make them an integer or a float or a string, and then storing them in variables. Now we're going to go through the process of ta actually taking those values and doing something with them to answer our question. So here, as a reminder, with sequential logic, we're trying to basically create code that can execute a, a series of steps, always and in the same order. And this is the problem we were focusing on. So we're going to get two numbers from the user, calculate the average, and output the result. I've highlighted the calculating the average part because that's what we're focusing on here with processing. So the important question to think about when you're processing values is what are you actually trying to do? If I get two numbers, it's pretty clear that I need to add them and divide them by two to get the average. So you have to think about all those steps that are involved, and usually it involves some sort of mathematics. And you may have to declare some additional variables uh, to maybe store your answer. So now is a good opportunity for us to talk about Python's pre-built math operators and functions. A lot of these should be familiar to you, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. This shouldn't uh, blow anyone's mind. Uh, there are some interesting ones that I think a lot of us don't really look at. Uh, modulus is an interesting one. Modulus basically tells you the remainder if you divide uh, the first number by the second. So 5 modulus 2 is really 2 remainder 1, so it returns 1. Double star is exponent, so five, 5 double star 2 is the same as saying 5 squared. Uh, ABS is absolute value, so if you put a negative number inside here, it will uh, give you the uh, absolute value of it. And round and power are pretty self-explanatory. You put a number in both of these, you tell it either how many decimals or the exponent, and it will either round it to, in this example, one decimal place, or uh, raise it to that power. So, uh, especially for power pow and double, double star, you are free to use whichever one makes the most sense to you. So now that we know the pre-built math operators, let's actually go and solve our problem. If we go over here to Thony, you will see that uh, we already have our number one and number two variables where we got numbers from the user. So now we just need to calculate the average. Uh, for the purposes of this example, I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to call it average because I'm not very imaginative. And I'm going to set it equal to number one plus number two divided by two because that's how you calculate an average. Or is it? If I was to test it, which I encourage all of you to do, what we should do is we should pick two numbers. So for example, 3 and 4 should give us 3.5. That should be the average between those two numbers. But if we look over here on the right, we'll see that it gives us 5. And the reason for that is order of operations. Uh, you have to remember that um, it's exactly like you learned in school. If I set number 2 to 4, it will do this part first. So it'll do 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and then it will add it to uh, 3, which is why you get 5. So I have to use parentheses, and I can use as many parentheses as I want. Um, and here we go. That will add number 1 and number 2, and then divide all of that by 2. So if I was to test it, we see over here our average is 3.5. So we know that we are doing it correctly. So in this example, I've shown you not only how to get values from the user, now we've completed the processing step, and in the final video, we'll show you how to output that answer to the screen, which is using skills you already know, and then we'll summarize the lesson. Thanks for watching.